Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Hatch TV now. In today's video I'm going to be talking about um, a variety of things which have happened over the past week which is Luton Town related but first I did mention in my last video I was going to make a Hatch TV official Twitter account. I have now done that so if you guys can go and follow the Hatch TV Twitter account I will, there is always a link in the description below so every time I do a, upload a video you can see all the links to anything about Hats TV, so subscribing, um, following on Twitter, and then you've got all my personal links if you want to know more about me, all in the description below, guys. So if you want to follow me on Insta, Snapchat, um, obviously my personal Twitter, the Hats TV Twitter, they're all in the description below. Just click on that, and then it takes you to the exact page where you can follow or like or whatever. Right, guys. So as soon as I finished recording my video, um, Luton signed a player called Jack Stacey. Came from Reading on a two-year deal. He can play right back and he can play in midfield. He was on loan to Exeter last season. Played over 30 games for him. So he obviously went to Wembley um, for him. Um, he looks an alright player. Hopefully he isn't going to overtake Justin in right back in the first team spot. As I do believe Justin is should be number one. Should be number one right back. But yeah, he looks like a good addition to the squad. He looks like a fantastic addition to the squad. So yeah, we just got to wait and see what he looks like. So recently the fixtures came out. Obviously, I'm very happy that I don't have to do a long journey on the first game of the season. I've done that for the last, I think, four seasons now. And it, it does take a lot out of you. But I'm really glad it's a home one. It gives something different. I haven't experienced a home game, first game of the season so far. So obviously this is going to be really interesting for me. The game which I am looking forward to the most it has to be Coventry away. Um, I don't know why, but it's Coventry. So I, yeah, I just I'm looking forward to that. That's the most game I'm looking forward to out of all the other games. Now, if you actually follow my personal Twitter, I do recommend you do follow my personal Twitter. I announced four days before Cameron McGee went to Barnsley. Now that got f made official, but I man I actually got given some information four days before he was sold. Some people already knew, but I didn't get any like facts in. I actually knew and I got some facts about that deal so i do highly recommend you f to follow me on um on, on especially on my personal twitter as i do give you information which i can't instantly put out on youtube so i do i would recommend you follow all my socials as i do release a lot of stuff and it's very important so yeah karen mcgeehan he has gone to uh, barnsley now, I re the fee, what I've been told, the fee is around about 1.3 million, obviously with a lot of add-ons. So, it's not going to just be 1.3 million. If he does well at Barnsley and another club, like, another, like, club coming for him, a lot of money is going to be there. And Luton are going to get some of that money as well. I f we could be getting an international fee if he does play for his country. I don't know if he's choosing for England or Ireland, but, yeah... But am I disappointed that he's gone? Yes, I am, because obviously I've grew up watching Cameron, and obviously he was part of the conference days, and now he's got tons of potential. Like, he is a good player, goal-scoring midfielder. He's always in that right position at the right time, and we have been missing that since he's been out injured. So, obviously, some of these midfield players have to st step up to the plate. So, that's Luke Gabin, and that is Lawson Diaz. Overall... Cameron is a, obviously a huge player to miss, but he wasn't consistent like certain players were in the team, and he did let us down on a few occasions. But obviously, I wish Cameron all the best at Barnsley, and yeah, I'll be looking out for Barnsley's results if he scores throughout his time during Barnsley. Some more transfer news which is going to come your way. Pelly Roderick apparently rumoured to go to not, uh, Nottingham Forest and QPR. I haven't actually heard anything about that. Only rumours. But uh, what I have heard is Jack Marriott could be on his way to Peterborough. Now, I've been given information from someone that he's good, he's on his way and, and a, like a fee has been agreed and he... He's potentially going to Peterborough. Now, my thoughts on that situation is Jack Marriott. He didn't have the best of seasons last year. It, took, it needed him. It needed him to take a few chances to get a goal. He got given that chance right at the start of the season. He was playing week in week out. He didn't. He wasn't scoring. So obviously he was dropped. And then Isaac Vassell came in, and I think Isaac Vassell has obviously done a better job than him. But 
I, I don't understand why Jack Merrick will only go League One. Um, I, I don't reckon he will go, uh, but it does look likely at the moment he will be going to Peterborough. Personally, if it was me and if I was in his situation, I would just get promoted with Luton because we are wanting promotion this year. And then he'd be playing League One next year. I don't see the difference, to be honest. I don't think him, him, like Jack Marrett himself, will go to League One and bang in 20 goals and then get another move. I don't think that will happen. So, yeah, I'd be a little bit disappointed if Jack Marrett does leave Luton and goes to Peterborough. But anyway, guys, that is the um, end of the video. Obviously, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Obviously, comment down below your thoughts about the Karen McGeehan situation. Um, and also, if you think any other players will leave and who do you think will sign. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow all the socials like I keep saying throughout the video. As, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, they come down and